crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains. Uncover buried treasure and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. Lake Chelan, beautiful. How did it form? This is a vacation paradise with boats and sun and water and apples. Oh, thank you. And wine. What's the geology behind this scenery? The third deepest lake in the United States, behind only Crater Lake and Lake Tahoe, is the result of an Ice Age battle. An ice sheet from Canada, more than a mile thick as it crossed the border, invaded Washington's mountains, crossing alpine ridges as it flowed south. But another arm of the ice sheet came in from the east, flowed over the town of Chelan, and flowed up the lake to the Narrows. A battle of the ice sheets, digging the hole that now holds the fresh blue water of Lake Chelan. These are glacial erratics made out of brown basalt lava rock. They were dropped by the ice sheet. They're proof that the Okanagan lobe was here. And in fact, there's a whole string of pearls, hundreds of these brown haystack rocks strung across the Waterville Plateau. They're important to our story here because these brown milk duds can be found above the shores of Lake Chelan, proving that the Okanagan lobe flowed up the lake as far as the Narrows. As they flowed over land, glaciers picked up these rocks from the Columbia River basalt bedrock of eastern Washington and delivered them to the Chelan area. The big erratics have been sitting here for 15,000 years, the last time that the ice sheet was in the area. One more piece of evidence that the ice was here in Lake Chelan. This is polished bedrock. Do you see how grooved it is? There's fingernail scratches, glacial striations, left by the ice sheet as it worked its way over this bedrock. And the bedrock itself is unusual. This is not granite. This is a complicated rock that gives us a very specific rare window at the processes that go on deep in the Earth's crust. Chris Mattinson, a geology professor from my school, Central Washington University, has had a long-lasting relationship with Chelan's bedrock. Based on the composition of garnet and other minerals that occur in these rocks, we know that they originally formed about 30 kilometers below the surface. So these rocks record the processes that go on at deep levels underneath the volcanic system. And this is one of the few places in the world where we can actually observe these rocks and study them. Some geologists say the volcanoes were further west and then drifted in and docked here. Others think the rocks are local and an incredible 15 miles worth of uplift brought this beautiful bedrock up the geologic elevator to the surface. Beautiful bedrock, a beautiful glacial lake, beautiful Lake Chelan.